The big market shifts that started during the second half of 2018 continued into the first month of 2019. I'm David Stark and welcome to the East Bay Real Estate Weather Report. January is historically a tough month for real estate. Compared with other times of the year, there's usually not many homes on the market and, as a result, fewer sales too. That said, this January was particularly interesting given what's been happening with inventory and sales prices during the previous months. Let's start with some big picture. That late season bump in inventory during the fall of 2018 was checked as we entered the holiday season. But after taking some time off in November and December, sellers were back in business during January. Inventory throughout the East Bay increased more than 50% compared with January 2018. However, sales decreased by 8%. Why the mismatch? Well, don't forget, this was January, usually the slowest month for real estate activity. But January 2019 was particularly slow as buyers across the East Bay pumped the brakes big time. On average, a home was on the market for 44 days during January 2019 compared with 30 days last January. More inventory, longer days on market, fewer sales. Yeah, this all added up to big changes in sales prices. The median sales price for a single family detached home in the East Bay dropped 5% compared with January 2018. That year-over-year -year trend is consistent with the market trends that started last fall. That's the big picture. Now, let's look at some local highlights. 880 corridor, go. A lot more homes for sale. 109 in Fremont, Hayward 97, Newark up 600% with 56 for sale. More inventory meant prices changed. Prices up from last January in Alameda, 19%. Berkeley and Castor Valley, almost unchanged, but everywhere else, down. Fremont drops 13% from last January. Hayward down 4%. Oakland down 7%. Buyers responded to more options and lower prices by pushing up sales in most areas. More sales in Berkeley, Castro Valley, San Leandro, and Union City. But sales down in Hayward and Newark. Next. West Contra Costa County. Inventory way up in El Cerrito with 16 on the market. Hercules had 28. Richmond up to 79 homes. Impact on sales prices? Mixed. Prices down in El Cerrito 7% and Pinole 9% with increases in El Sobrante, Hercules, and San Pablo. These price changes drove sales up in El Cerrito and Pinole only. Big drops in Richmond and San Pablo. Central Contra Costa County is up next. Inventory up everywhere. Big increases in Clayton, 22 homes, Martinez, 49, and Pleasant Hill, 24. Prices mixed. More supply in Concord, Martinez, and Pleasant Hill bought prices down. Sales were mixed too. Concord, only 43 homes sold and only 18 in Martinez. But Walnut Creek up from last January with 23 sold. Mixed markets in La Mirinda. Yes, inventory is up everywhere in La Mirinda. But this didn't drive prices down. Prices way up in Lafayette at more than $2 million and Arinda at $1.472. Higher prices didn't slow sales. More homes sold in Lafayette and Arinda. The Tri-Valley is up. More homes for sale. Big jump in Dublin with 40 homes for sale and Livermore with 70. Sales prices are mixed up 9% in Alamo, stabilizing in Danville and Dublin, and dropping 4% in Pleasanton and San Ramon. On the sales side, the Tri-Valley is still strong. Sales down in Alamo and Danville, but up everywhere else. Dublin and San Ramon both up more than 30% and Pleasanton up more than 40%. The Delta, and then we're out. Inventory way up in Antioch at 102 homes for sale and Brentwood with 279. And so were sales prices, up 6% in Antioch and Pittsburgh, 7% in Brentwood. Higher prices didn't slow down buyers in Antioch with 72 homes sold, but it did result in fewer sales in Brentwood and Pittsburgh. January is usually a transition month for real estate. We'll see if these inventory and price trends continue next month. See you then.